I mean, to get into the practices of what actors do is almost an insane story in itself. I found myself, you know, sitting on the window ledge pretending I was a cat and really pretending that I was a cat. And so I remember sitting there being like, well, what would a cat do? And then I was just like, no, I am a cat. I'm a cat. And so I'm gonna, you know, do this thing like they do. And I'm gonna, oh my God, there's a bird. Cause I like, you know, squirrels, birds, da da da. And then I'm gonna relax. And it's, it's, I remember sitting there being like, this is so bizarre. Is this what, an adult does when you're trying to train as a professional actor? And the answer is yes. This is part of the bizarre, you know, um, the formula of what it requires from people to, to live in different characters and to explore the boundaries of our emotional understanding. And so Larry Moss was really big on understanding our own emotional selves because he would say often if you don't deal with your emotions then they will deal with you and part of dealing with your emotions is having you know a steady steadiness to yourself and being able to not be too reactive to you know have a management of your emotions so you can control it on set and use it to your advantage in the character um, so with that I learned to meditate, even though I, if you, there was one person in the world that did not want to meditate, it was me. But I knew that it was the direction to go because I was resisting it so much. So um, meditation, of course, I've discovered now has brought so much to my life. Um, I meditate every day now. How do I practice and prep for my acting roles? Okay, I have a whole bunch of different ways that I do that. Uh, it depends on the scene, but typically what I'll do is I will map out where I'm walking and kind of what the blocking is or how I think it might be on set. And then I will run the scene in the space in my apartment and I'll, you know, say it really slowly or sometimes I'll talk it really fast or sometimes, you know, I'll say it as different characters, like I'll do like a different accent or something like that, you know? But what I really love to do is when I'm on set, to keep people awake and keep things alive, is you know, sometimes you're just having a conversation with someone and then you just have this like final sentence that you're supposed to say with the dun dun dun. So you'll wait for it and you'll say, you know, but how do we know that they rang into the mouth? And just throw a weird accent on it and you'll just hold them. And you won't break, because it's very traumatic. Or... <laughs> <laughs>